Alrighty, welcome back to Wheel Life Cycling. Um, and today we're going to do a review on uh, cycling socks. And um, right now I'm going to reference two companies uh, and I'm going to do a comparison on these two socks. Alright? And I am an av avid cyclist. I do 30 to 70 miles per day. I'm an older 64 year, 65 year old uh, cyclist and uh, I'm on Strava and um, I am king of the mountain here and there and yeah I do you know 19, 18, 22 miles an hour for my age which is pretty good. Uh, I've been cycling for most of my life and uh, I know a little bit about cycling and uh, apparel. So let's talk about some good things and bad things uh, with these two companies. Two companies I'm going to talk about today are uh, ASOS and a company that uh, makes uh, merchandise and cycle wear in America, uh, Aerotech Design Cycle Wear uh, out of Coropolis or Coropolis, uh, Pennsylvania. Anyways, guys, I'm not sponsored by either of these companies, but I'm just going to give you an update on some socks that you might want to consider not getting uh, versus getting. All right, so let's get into it. Um, let's see if I can get my camera situated right without it falling down. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's, that's the issue. Don't drop the camera, right? Um, so let's, I'm going to bring this down to guys a little bit. Give me one second and let's see if I can get this down to where I won't drop the, the camera. All right. Don't need to do that today. All righty. Uh, the first, I want to talk about these cycling socks. So this is a thermostat, they call it. And it actually this, this sock is really well made and i you know, it's, ASOS engineers their product in Switzerland, but I guess they make it like a lot of companies in third world countries, um, you know, like Thailand, like China, like Vietnam, or wherever they make these products. Um, but this, this one sock I've had for a couple of years now, and um, this brand, and I, it's really a, a really a nice sock. And, uh, of course, they embroidered, you know, ASOS on one side and thermostat on the other side. And it has never affected the inside of my foot of being, you know, bundled up with uh, stitching and uh, threads, okay? So, this is what I want to talk about. So, here's the interior of this sock. It's actually smooth. Uh, it's sewn at the tip a little bit. And of course, other than this, um, what do you call it, uh, this embroidery, which is a little bit of fuzz, it never has bothered me, all right? And it's a great quality uh, sock. Now, and it fits really well. The other sock I want to talk about right now is ASOS, I mean, um, Aerotech and Coolmax, okay? So this is their material that they use and a couple of things here, um, I'm a size 12, it says XL, 12 to 15. Well, um, I'm not too crazy about the sizing, 12 to 15. It may stretch a little, but I'm size 12, and it is tight on me uh, a little bit. So we'll see what's going to happen. When I received these, I didn't know how to tell if they were XL or not. So I started searching and looking at the sock, and as you turn the inside cuff over... At the ankle, it says XL, and they actually wove it into the, uh, the into the f fabric. So I turned the sock even more over, and look what I found. It looks like it's unfinished. I mean, there's threads sticking out all over the place. All right, now if will it bother you? I don't know. It may bother me. So. I'm, and I'm not sure if I trim these off, if it's a good thing or not, and depends how close I can trim it. You know, I don't know if this is the, the procedures that they, they do here and made in USA, but I'm not 
so pleased with the inside of this sock. I mean, it's look at you know this is feet ticklers right here, and I'm not sure if they're bunched up if they if they're going to cause issues against my uh, my knuckle joints or my toes or or the like. But I'm not too pleased with the outer uh, with the inner inner appearance of this sock. Now this was on sale uh, for two dollars or three dollars and fifty cents or something like that. Um, I know that these socks, the ASOS, were more expensive. I think more in the area of double that. And I would go with these again, to be honest with you. Um, I, I'm not crazy about the finishing product on this. I mean, look, we get a stitch down here with a white line. Um, you know, I want it to stay made in America. I don't want to put my dollars in Chinese products if I can help it. But, uh, you know, if I have to buy, you know, made in Thailand or made in Vietnam over, oh, I can even see my finger through here. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm maybe not going to be crazy with these socks, but we'll see what's going to happen and how long they last. Uh, so anyways, Aerotech Designs, uh, so far I'm not too pleased on the look of the product. So we'll see what's going to happen. So, anyways, guys, Wheel Life Cycling, talking uh, a review on a couple of pairs of socks. Um, and uh, we'll get back to you with some other products here, hopefully soon. But I'm not too crazy about the Aerotech design. And I did buy a baklava from Aerotech, and I put it on my head, one size fits all. And that, that kind of bothers me uh, when I see that, a baklava. Um, it is merino wool, and it was like $36, okay? I found some on, believe it or not, um, other websites, uh, Amazon and the like, like Bula, and they're like 16 bucks for fleece and $20 for, for merino wool and, and some fleece, or spandex and polyethylene polyester so we'll see what's going to happen I guess I don't, I don't know the exact materials but um, I sent that Balkava back now Aerotech Designs does not have free returns you need to pay to have that sent back it cost me four dollars and a half to send that Balkava back uh, but I'd rather be happy sending it back and paying out of my pocket which shows me now that I'm, I, I have to look for companies that will do free shipping and free returns and stand behind their product you know Aerotech Designs they may be an American company maybe they have some good products but at this time their Balakava is sent back and um now, I'm not too pleased with the socks. But thanks for watching Wheel Life Cycling, guys. And we'll get back to you with some other reviews shortly. Have a great day.